diligence. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 Go to the end, thou sluggard, consider her ways, and be wise, which having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provideth her meat in the summer, and gathereth her food in the harvest. How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? Yet a little slip, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to slip, so shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want as an armed man. Proverbs chapter 6, verses 6 to 11. He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. As vinegar to the teeth, and as smoke to the eyes, so is the slugger to them that send him. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 4 and 26. The hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. The slothful man roasteth not that which he should took in hunting, but the substance of a diligent man is precious. Proverbs chapter 12, verses 24 and 27. The soul of the slugger desireth, and hath nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. Wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished, but he that gathereth by labor shall increase. Proverbs chapter 13, verses 4 and 11. In all labor there is profit, but the talk of the lips tendeth only to penury. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 23. The way of the slothful man is as a hedge of thorns, but the way of the righteous is made plain. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 19. He also that is slothful in his work is brother to him that is a great waster. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 9. Slothfulness casteth into a deep sleep, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger. A slothful man hideth his hand in his bosom, and will not so much as bring it to his mouth again. Proverbs chapter 19, verses 15 and 24. The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold. Therefore shall he beg in harvest and have nothing. Love not sleep, lest thou come to poverty. Open thine eyes, and thou shalt be satisfied with bread. Proverbs chapter 20, verses 4 and 13. The thoughts of diligent tend only to plenteousness, but of everyone that is hasty only to want. The desire of the slothful killeth him, for his hands refuse to labor. He coveteth greedily all the day long, but the righteous giveth and spareth not. Proverbs chapter 21, verses 5, 25, and 26. The slothful man saith, There is a lion without, I shall be slain in the streets. Seest thou a man diligent in his business? He shall stand before kings, he shall not stand before mean men. Proverbs chapter 22, verses 13 and 29. I went by the field of the slothful, and by the vineyard of the man void of understanding. And lo, it was all grown over with thorns, and nettles had covered the face thereof, and the stone wall thereof was broken down. Then I saw, and considered it well. I looked upon it, and received instruction. Yet a little slip, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to slip. So shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want as an armed man. Proverbs chapter 24, verses 30 to 34. As the door turneth upon his hinges, so doth the slothful upon his bed. Proverbs chapter 26, verse 14. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. Second Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 10. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whither thou goest. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 10. By much slothfulness the building decayeth, and through idleness of the hands, the house droppeth through. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 18. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that needeth. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 28. Hate not laborious work, neither husbandry, which the Most High hath ordained. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 15. 
A slothful man is compared to a filthy stone, and everyone will hiss him out to his disgrace. A slothful man is compared to the filth of a dunghill. Every man that takes it up will shake his hand. Ecclesiastes chapter 22 verses 1 to 2. Unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord, his house shall soon be overthrown. Ecclesiastes chapter 27 verse 3. Chastise thy son, and hold him to labor, lest his lewd behavior be an offense unto thee. Ecclesiastes chapter 30 verse 13. Send him to labor, that he be not idle, for idleness teacheth much evil. Ecclesiastes chapter 33 verse 27.